Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so um, let's go through. I, I think today's you know. Uh, so I, I would like to go through is, you know the comments on this um, document. Um, any other topic? Uh, I mean, or items you would like to discuss? No. Okay. Um, so then, I, I think then. Uh, so let's just first go through the. I'm not sure whether you know. Um, you have gone through all this, uh, the spec, the document uh, in detail or not? Um, but let me go through the uh, the comments. Okay. I'm going to scroll down. Hi everyone. Uh, I still see your comment here. You think is it resolved? I think uh, uh, we agreed last time we are going to city to resolve state, right? Or you still have some questions or comment? Uh, sorry, what comment was that? Sorry, I can't see the screen. I'm driving for the next seven minutes. What, what comment was that? Oh, you are driving. Okay, uh, this is first your comment. You say you know on um, this on um, the triggered by I mean this um, correlation thing should be uh, out of scope, and then we discuss that last time in the I think in the second meeting. Yeah, we did. I think it is all comes down to accepting human and about you, but yeah, we discussed it. That's fine. Pardon. Sorry, I, yeah. I, I cannot yeah. hear you clearly. So are you yeah, going to say it to be resolved? Yeah, I'm fine with that, yeah. Okay, so you're going to set it to resolve, okay. I think the second one is also about the event state. So I assume you're going to set it to resolve, right? Yeah, it depends on like, if, if that's what you want to build, that's fine. Like, I don't agree with it, but if that's what the group wants, that's fine. Uh, but you know, uh, okay, I would like to know. So these are uh, use cases. Uh, I think already show that we really need a state to handle the events. Yeah, like a, like our use cases are similar to traditional workflows. Let's do, but like in my mind, we were not solving traditional workflows. But if that's what we're solving, I think that's fine. Right? I don't think we can talk more about it. Like we're not gonna make any more progress talking more about it. So that's fine. If that's what the group wants. Okay. Okay. So then let's go through this. Um. So let me see. Uh, oh, the so uh, na 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 hero. So is it okay? Like you know, we said you know we have this um on the different uh, state, and then we have a start bullying. Is that okay with you? Uh, I think it's okay, but uh, I have uh, one concern about the okay. uh, start state. Mm -hmm. but if we use a flag or uh, the start or not, I think uh, if we have a uh, hang like state. I think uh, all transition become application. I think uh, just one of them are true, and the rest of 99 are false. So I think uh, the, I'm not sure the flag is effective or not. Okay, so, 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 so which case you think it will not cover with a flag? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the flag flag works okay, but uh, yeah. my concern is uh, just a uh, minor minor concern. Uh, if we had a uh, hundred state and all uh, works sequential, in that case, only one of state become true, right? Okay, say it again. Uh, I didn't quite follow. Sorry. Yeah. I think I understand your concern. This is Louis. So uh, you're, what you're suggesting is that in all the other states, other than the actual start state, the, this Boolean would be false. Yes, yes. Right. So what I would suggest here is that, in fact, um, if the Boolean, you know, that, that field start is not present, it defaults to be, being false. So, you know, if it's not a start state, we just simply leave that... Um, that field out, and and that that typically happens as, 
um, you know, if, if uh, there would be uh, default values that if the field is not present, it, it takes on a, on a very specific value. And in this case, it would be false. So all we, all we would really need to do is to have uh, one start, uh, one state with, uh, that shows uh, start equal to true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that means the, the one way to do that. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, we would need to obviously make that quite clear that there is a, um, a default value for that if it's not present, and mm-hmm. that would be uh, false. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So we probably need to add that clarification into the um, document. Uh, yeah, certainly. Okay, good. So, Luis, are you going to add that? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll add that. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, great. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay. Um, so let me see any other. Okay, so this is a hero start state, and then so team. I think yeah, teams that's resolved because he see that uh, again a hero here. Okay, you are say okay. How do you pass a result of action to the next state? Uh, in case of but in case of parallel, do you have a list of output to the next state? Yes, we have a, a list of output um, to the next state. This, is that solved? The hero up to it's solved, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you can put this as resolved, you know, that would be good, you know, you mark it so that we do not to, to revisit, you know, this again. Okay, great. And how about this one? Um, this one say, do we allow to spend more than one function in action list in case of sequential? Sequential more than one? Yes, we allow. Um, so this is resolved, is it right? Yes, but uh, I have one concern. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, if the state has uh, more than one, more than one function, so the 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 the, the meaning of the state became ambiguous because uh, if one state has uh, two function, actually there are two states inside. So uh, I just wondering. Uh, so if that a state has two functions, so those two functions can be executed in sequence or in parallel, okay? Um, I understand, you know, you can break that into two state if it's in sequence, right? Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. yeah, Yeah. okay. I think this is up to the user. We provide this flexibility, say, okay, if you have two functions executed in sequence, you can break them up into two state, or you can just, you know, put into one state, um, but these two function execute in sequence. You know, it's up to the user how they want to, um, to the users how they want to position it or how they want to write um, the workflow. Uh, we I, I think probably it's not. We do not need to put any restriction there. You know, um, because yeah, that's my my take. What do you, what do I, do you think or do others think? Mm, yeah, that is one way. I think. What's that? Yeah, I, I think that is one way. I think uh, I agree with that. Yeah, okay, with that. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay. So if you can resolve this, that would be good. Okay, I will do that. Okay, uh, another is yours again. Is the result value assumed the error value? That's because result value is not error value. I'm just wondering if we know success value once. I think example. Yeah, this also, you know, is this resolved? Yes. Okay, so if you can, you know, resolve, that would be good. Okay, and how about the next? Yeah, and the next thing, what you mean, uh, you propose a parallel uh, state, right? I think that's a good suggestion. I think, you know, or they added in. And uh, and also, so have you taken a look at that parallel state? Yes. Okay, is it good? Yes, it, it's good. Okay. So, uh, so I- after reading this uh, parallel state section, I made a comment whether or not if uh, whether or not uh, the parallel or uh, sequential flag is necessary. Could, could you move up? Move up? Yes. I made uh, one comment just before meeting regarding okay. the the state. Okay, so maybe maybe uh, we will go to that. Your comments later. Can I just I, I just go to sequence one by one? Is that okay? Yeah. So uh, let, let's just say okay. So the parallel state that's resolved. Uh, yeah, I know. If you have another comment, we can go to that. And you have another comment. Say we specify a range condition such as you know, 
Yeah. 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 Y
But now that with that action mode, if it's you know if in that if we have that action mode, if that action mode specified parallel, and then inside it there's no parallel state, I think that's still useful, right? That still provide a, a a way for the user to write it, a flexible way. What do you think, Nahiro? I know you have thought through this very well, and uh, uh, I, I'm thinking, you know, um, so you are assuming always inside it, inside the operation state, there's a not, there's a, uh, uh, there, if it's parallel function, executed parallel, so you you think it will always put a parallel state inside it, but actually we can also allow the user to put a, a parallel function. It's not parallel state inside it. So the user can put, you know, functions execute in sequence inside that operation state, or they can put that, you know, the functions executing in parallel inside that operation state, or they can put a parallel state inside that operation state. That means, you know, the, uh, that allows for, you know, more complicated use case, this mm -hmm. parallel state. Yeah. But I think in maybe majority use cases probably do not need this parallel state. It only needs you know either sequential or parallel execution of the functions. So I think you know putting that um, yeah. action mode there will will make the will, will provide a, a easy and straightforward way for the user to write its use case. Yeah, you you are saying that the convenient way is necessary, right? Yeah, because in most cases, uh, you know, I think, you know, in quite most cases, people probably do not need this, you know, mm -hmm. uh, complication or parallel state, embedded state, so they can just say, okay, this function in execute in parallel or in sequence. But if their use case is really, you know, complicated, and they need it, you know, on those embedded state, like, you know, uh, inside uh, operation state or inside event state, they need another, you know, uh, some other states, right? Then they can use this parallel state. Yeah. What do you think? I think probably that's that, that's. I think that's probably. I think you know, we pro if we can provide this flexibility, it will be better than just say, okay, you always have to go through the use the parallel state. Maybe think about it. Um, we can probably um, you know. Discuss it next meeting. So, what do you think? If you 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 can have some time to think more about it, that but that's my my viewpoint. I'm not sure other people. Will. So, well, my take is a state is not serial or parallel. A state is a state. It's the actions within the state that are serial parallel actions. So, I'm not sure. I completely uh, concur with having something called a parallel state. But that's just me. I think this parallel state was introduced uh, because you know Nahiro was thinking you know there are some use cases which could be complicated a little bit more complicated use cases, um, and those use cases will require you know um, like you know. Um, more than just you know functions uh, executed in parallel, so they could be like you know some functions uh, um, execute. So for example, uh, in that part, so there could be like two functions, two fun. Uh, so in that state, operation state, right? There are two. Um, it's going to branch out to do this to uh, to two um, different states, and uh, they call we call this parallel state. And one state inside it, they could receive a uh, you know another event, but then the other state might not need to handle that event, something like that. Now, Hiro, is that right? Is that what you have in mind, you know? Yes, uh, I have an example. Uh, can, can I show you my example? Sure, where I, 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 I stop showing I, 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 I put a URL here. Just, I, I, maybe I, you have some slide, I can stop sharing, and you, you have your slide. Or you have your document? Would you like yeah, that? Um, yes. Okay, so let me stop and you can share the screen. You can click share your document. Sorry, where is that? Uh, do I need to, uh, you can, 
And Doc, do okay, I, 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 I got Oh, you, you can share? Okay, I, I'm not sure how, whether you can share, but. Is there anything I need to do to make you, to enable your sharing? Oh yeah, you can share. Okay, that's good. The, just, just moved. Uh, can you see the diagram here? Yes. Uh, this is uh, written in the Amazon state language. And uh, here is a parallel state. Let me enlarge. Here is a parallel state. And uh, there are four branches. And each current, current graph cannot ex express its uh, flow. OK. So here's, here's the, the, the parallel state. And the uh, branch has a four, four state. Okay. Uh, four, okay. Four transition, four parallel branch. And uh, current specification without parallel state cannot express, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you're saying. So far, hard. I yeah. Okay. Are you okay with uh, Nahiro's explanation? Yeah, he's got a use case. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. Then. Let me put it in the chat window. So you are done, Nahiro? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm done. So let me, let me go to my, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. Just a second. Uh, let me switch to my. Uh, Can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, okay. So this is a, okay. So that's a parallel state. So action mode, um, that thing. Maybe you can think about it, Nahiro, and then let's um, revisit it next me in next meeting. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, so now let's go to the, um, here. You have another comment, okay. Yeah, could you explain your um, yeah. comment and Louis, I think I addressed that too, okay. Yeah, I have two comments. The first one is uh, the right hand side of the diagram. So I think it's better to have another function and uh, put the, the filter between the function. So you are suggesting adding another filter between the functions? Yes. So currently, the diagram has only one function in the right-hand side. Oh, OK. I see. And the second comment is the left-hand side. The, the diagram says the event source receive response from the flow. I think I was just wondering if uh, this is necessary or not, because even is basically async, right? Yeah, hi, hi to um, Nahira. Yeah, I, I've responded to those. So, uh, yeah, I think definitely um, what you say in, in, in for um, question number one, uh, comment number one is that um, we should, in fact, add filters. So if you've got uh, multiple um, actions occurring one after the other, we should have filters uh, on the responses and again on the um, uh, as, as each uh, function is invoked. So, 
we were able to transform both the request uh, going to the serverless function and the response that is returned back from the serverless function. And we can we can probably add um, or modify the diagram to show sure. that quite clearly. Um, and uh, talking about the second one, so, um, you know, I, I agree that, uh, you know, what we've talked about typically is that um, if we have an event source, we simply get um, a unidirectional set, a stream of events from that source uh, without any responses going back. But I'm, I'm thinking about maybe there are other instances where an event source may, may actually have um, or well, there may be responses going back to that source. So that's what I'm showing there. So it's, it's not um, necessary that we actually have that, uh, what, what I would call a, um, that response filter. Um, I've just shown it in the diagram. So I can potentially remove it from the diagram if, if it, um, you know, to uh, avoid any confusion in terms of having um, a filter or at least a response even going back to an event source. So yeah, what, is, what do other people think about that? Yeah, so um, so the first, I think the first one, you know, you say um, would like a filter between the functions, between the functions, right? Yeah, I think I, I also think that's a good suggestion. I think we need to add that. In terms of the response to the event source, we cannot, we do not, there could be some event sources that need response, right? So it's your point saying, you know, no event source, you know, needs response from the workflow. Is that your point? No. I think uh, that you are saying that the event source received uh, some response from the message queue or something, right? But uh, my point is that uh, event source typically does not get a response from the workflow. Yeah, I, I agree. So, so you say event source does not get response from the workflow. Is that your yeah, point? Yes, yes. But, but typically, event source should, respo should receive response from the event queue or something. Okay. Uh, so so you, I, I think I heard someone else uh, say okay. Yes. Yeah, that was me. This is Baron. Um, I, I agree. I think events are pretty much defined as asynchronous. If they are synchronous, um, if they're coming from something that expects a response, I don't think it's really categorized as an event. You would go through like an API gateway or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So how will you solve it? Let's say the event does come through an API gateway and expects a response. How would that be solved? Good question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, there are maybe uh, use cases where um, the event source is something like a, um, you know, HTTP client and it's expecting a response to come back. And so, uh, the, yeah, uh, I, I think traditionally, and then you, you would certainly, re, you know, expect like a, just a 200 OK or something like that. But if they're expecting some response which contains um, data, then I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, synchronous events do complicate the entire workflow. There's no doubt about it. But I'm not sure if we can say just because it gets complex, I mean, we don't support it. So if like there are some, so I, I think probably, you know, um, we cannot say um, there's no, we can not say 100% say, you know, that, you know, none of the event sources would expect a response from the workflow with some, you know, some result. So maybe we should, you know, it's better to just keep that, 
keep it there here, this response, just in case if there is an event source that would expect a use case that would expect a response, then we have it covered. Yeah, I mean, we could certainly um, update the diagram to make it quite clear that there are um, you know, event sources that only emit events but don't respect, expect any responses coming back. And there are other event sources that do, in fact, have responses and expect responses coming back and with, with data attached or, or a payload attached to them. And um, th that filter can be used to actually um, transform that, uh, that data in some fashion. So, um, you know, we could just add, add another diagram to clarify that, add some text to clarify that. Um, what do people think? Yeah, I think that would be great. Okay, so Louis, would you like to add that or, or you? Yeah, I, I'll certainly add, add something. Okay, great, yeah. Um, that's, that's pretty much uh, about it. Let's see the, uh, have, we write, have we written down all the meeting minutes? Um, so let's see, and then we have all the meeting minutes covered. Oh, we didn't write down much. Okay, so. Um, so Doug, are you, are you taking down the meeting minutes? Yeah. Or do you I want mean, me to? Yeah. I mean, go, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. I got, I got distracted. Sorry. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Okay. if you know, we write down. I think we discussed quite some. Uh, maybe we can add it later. You know, we. I think we disc We go through these comments and then so how we agree to resolve uh, each of these comments. Um, I can. I, I, I can uh, go ahead. Yeah, that, that's fine. You know, maybe yeah. Or I can help write it down later, or maybe someone catch that. Or for hard, if you can help write it down. Yeah, yeah, I, I can update those. That's okay. Fine. Um, or Doug. Um, so this is a uh, um. Any other comments from other? Any other comments on the document? Uh, yes, I have uh, one comment, very minor comment. Okay. <laughs> Uh, which which page? The the parallels and, and uh, I think parallels. The the what? Sorry. The 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 parallel state. The section oh, one. Parallel state. Three. Okay. Let, let me go there. Parallel uh, state. Uh, the, it's here, right? Yes. I I think there. I noticed that uh, there there is a one. Duplicated uh, sentence. There's one duplicated uh, sentence. Okay. Yeah. Where is it? At? Yeah, here. Yeah. Each each branch continue to. Oh, continue. Okay. Yeah. Is this uh, duplicated or or not? Duplicate with what? It continues until reach a state that has no next state uh, only in the yeah. branch. There are two, two sentences that start each branch has. Oh, no, it's not duplicated. Here, the first sentence is each branch has a list of states, right? It could be, you know, a branch out, right? So each branch has a list of states with one state as a start state. Oh, no, it has a list of states with uh, one I'm state. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. the, please look at the information passing Section. Next, next section. Oh, okay. Information passing. Okay, here. Okay. There, are, there is uh, two sentences that start from start uh, input data. Here. Is this a Oh, yeah, yeah. This is duplicated. Oh, oh. But, 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 uh, let's see. The last last one are a little bit different. In a request as a serverless function when it is invoked from operation state. Yeah, this seems like duplicate. Thank you. I think this is duplicated. Okay, okay. So, what do other people think? Luis, you think it's duplicated? Yeah, yeah we, can fix, we can fix it. Okay, good. Okay, okay, thank you. Wow. Thank you for the catch. Um, 
So any other comments? So uh, any other comments which we have not addressed or resolved in the meeting? Yes, I, I have a comment. Oh, okay. I think we have information how how physical works. I think uh, as the next step, I think we need to lay down the, how physical works, especially how physical transforms the data. Oh, filter, how filter works. Yeah, how filter. I can imagine how to, how to uh, filter the data, but uh, I, I haven't, I couldn't. Right now, I can't imagine how to transform data. How to transform field? Okay. Uh, I think we need we to look at that uh, and work out a way of actually d developing a, a syntax with uh, the semantics. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, how that talks. Like that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of an open issue. I mean, it, it's it's more in the details. I think we initially wanted to get kind of setting the, the right direction here for this the workflow here. Yeah. Uh, but we can certainly um, look at that more closely. Yeah. So you so what you would like is you know is say the details of how the filter filters out um, the information and then you know and transform the information. Something like that, right? I think okay. there, are, there are two cases because uh, the filter means uh, reduce the reduce and hold the data, right? But uh, transform uh, sometimes uh, create uh, another data. So uh, the the word filter it seems to me makes make makes us misunderstand the functionality. Okay. I have a somewhat related question. Mm -hmm. um, in the case of uh, you know several states in, in sequence, for instance, does the last state get the out basically have reference to the output of all of the previous states or only the one directly um, before it? So, um, so it's the late the, the the previous one. So the last state get the information from the previous one, but the previous one will get the information from its its previous one. So actually, um, the last state actually get the information is like uh, accumulated or filtered information of all the of all the um, the previous states. Do I explain that well? At least from you know. Is it Ben? Yeah, it's me. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether I address, address your question. So, so if, mm -hmm, go ahead. The, well, no, why don't you, can you explain that again, please? <laughs> okay, so if suppose there are three states, right? So yeah. state one, state two, and state three, right? So state two is going to get information from state one. Okay, right, right. and then after the filter, whatever filter the user wants to define, right? Of course, the user can choose not to define any filter. Um, or whatever filter. So state two got that information, and then the state two is going to pass that information to state three. So yep. state so so um, so from the state diagram, it, it seems like the state three get information from state two, but actually the information, but that information already contains information from state one. Right, know? right. I guess, but that's, that's it's, it's up, up to, to state, state two, two to pass, pass that through. That. As opposed to just saying, like, you know, for instance, in a parallel workflow, I think we talked about last meeting, the next state would get essentially a list of all of the outputs of the, the previous states. They're parallel. Um, I was wondering if you could, can you generalize that so that, you know, basically everything gets more or less a map of states or, or events rather? Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, right. So for the parallel state, because it's one state branch out to multiple state, right? So that's why, you know, the, for example, if from state one, it branch out to parallel state, you know, there are three parallel state, parallel state two, one, parallel state two, two, parallel state two, three, right? So these two, one, two, two, and two, three, they're going to get input from, from the state one, still get it from the previous state. 
it doesn't got it from you know uh, uh, you know it's still the 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 state that preceding it it just because it's one child so they all they, these three states have the same previous state mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah I guess I'll just see out um, how this plays out <laughs> okay yeah so it, it, it's yeah it's it's still gated from its previous state. It just, you know, because a brown child, so you feel uh, that actually it's, a, it's, it's the same thing, it's consistent. I mean, it, it should be no different from AWS step functions for parallel, parallel action, right? right? No, yeah, no, no difference. Okay. Um, so, so I think, you know, one, one um, uh, so Nahiro mentioned we need to undefine the um, how the filter really filters the uh, information, right? Uh, anyone would like to give that a shot? That's an open question. Open, I mean, work item. On a hero, yes. would you like to give it a, a try to write something up? Oh, okay. Okay. okay, good. Because this is a, a, you know, document. Anyone can add, and mm -hmm. I mean, I need. Thing reasonable, yeah. Um, okay, that's good. Any other questions or comments? So, so my question is to now, now Hero, is there, is there any, I mean, again, I want to go back to parallel state. Is that what you need to achieve? You can't achieve using parallel actions. I mean, in your slide, you showed where some event happens, you go to a state, and then you have parallel states, one doing something on Azure, one doing something on Amazon, one doing something, I didn't see Google Cloud, but anyway, isn't, instead of, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat your question? I, I, my question is, instead of introducing parallel state, because my only concern is now one workflow breaks up into multiple different workflows. So my, so my question, question is, instead of allowing that, can't you, uh, what you want to achieve, can't you achieve that using just parallel action, but within the same workflow? Uh, I would say this is, it's not separate workflows. This is, this is managed and uh, executed as, as a single workflow. I think that's a key thing here. This is, it's just not having a parallel state is not a separate workflow. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's typically, you know, what we see in something like, um, I think it's in step functions, they, they have a parallel state and, and that is a single um, step function, I think it's a state machine, so it's treated and, and it's managed as a single um, entity, it's not a separate managed entity, it's a single managed entity, it's not a separate thing, although internally certainly there is um, uh, concurrency in terms of the parallel uh, execution, it still manages a single entity. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Good, yeah. So maybe, um, so maybe uh, Nahir, would you like to share your um, diagram again so people can understand that use case better? Okay. Let me stop sharing because I think that's important. Otherwise, you know, um, I'll stop sharing. Okay. If you can share. Uh, I think it might be worthwhile to actually, you know, uh, Nahira has posted that link. It might be worthwhile actually looking through some of his examples. Uh, we may not be able to do it right now, but it would be worthwhile um, having a look and seeing if um, the, the proposal that we have right now does address what he has in, um, in that GitHub. Would that be okay? Oh, Nahiro, probably you can add your use case to this back because we have a, a use case section. Maybe you can add it, your use cases there, add this diagram there, so that you know we know, okay, there's such a use case, then we can walk through, we can go through the document to see whether it address your use case. Is that sounds, does that sound good no, to you? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe my English is getting not I just, I just wondering, I, I haven't been fully understood 
question. If we have a time, could you repeat the question? I mean, um, question. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I think Fahar's question is, you know, to see whether your use case can be addressed without the parallel state or not. He would like to know. Um, yeah, in this, this is your use case, right? You have some. Yeah, this is my argument cannot be expressed without parallel. If we execute the state using the the graph graph of so we got the the last, last value have to be passed to the, the, the first state of the next uh, So, uh, did I answer your question? So, so, now here I would suggest that you put uh, uh, your use case, you know, use case and this and uh, I cannot see clearly this diagram but if you can put your use case and the use case diagram in the in the section in the use case yeah. section of the document that will help people you know help us to understand your use case and see that oh we really need a parallel state yeah I can I feel we need it to to support those complicated use cases I think that's a, a, a very uh, a, a key a key thing to so yeah, I, uh, yeah okay okay sounds good um okay any other comments or questions let me share my screen again um yeah i think you know um I, I would like, you know, so I think, you know, we, we have, you know, in next meeting, um, if we do not have, you know, um, um, a lot of comments, um, I think probably I would like to put this, this into some GitHub and then, you know, later, you know, people can, you can have, you, you can pull, you know, new PR to modify it or, you know, add it more sections. Um, How's that? What do you think? What, what does everyone think? Pardon? Okay, good. How about other people? If no objection, I think um, probably I will leave this for um, open for um, comments for uh, maybe one or two more meetings. And then you know it can um, kind of wrap this document up, and then I put into some GitHub for the uh, workflow um, 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 workflow and uh, specification uh, document. Um, but of course, if you know we have a lot of comments coming in, then we're going to keep evolving this. Um, but again, you know, no matter what, um, you know, everyone is free, you know, and encouraged to modify it or add new things to, to this spec to make it more, um, how to say, make it more flexible and comprehensive to support all the use cases you have. Yeah. Any other items you would like to discuss? So if not, I think we can end this meeting. And then we're going to continue in uh, next uh, meeting discussion. And then um, if not many, not many comments, I think we can wrap it up. Okay, I guess, you know, it's all silenced. <laughs> That's all from my side. If no more comments, I think that's all. Thank you very much, everyone.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.